<laughs> Ooh, yes, folks. It's a box. It's just bubble wrap. Darn. A card. <laughs> Some kind of a receipt. Oh, and the meat of the uh, oh, the whole ordeal. The wonderful, wonderful wheeljack. Those of you who know, know that this is a highly anticipated item for me. There's the, uh, the car. There's the robot picture. Intelligence of nine. Nine? Well, let's, let's ease this package open. Let's do it on screen. <laughs> I don't want to damage the backer card too much. Ah, forget it. Let's rip into it like I'm a, like a kid on Christmas. Yay! <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like the green. I can already tell you I like the green just from this underside view here. Not so sure how I feel about these ties. But that's okay. Wee, so this is the first of this mold that I've gotten in the package. When I got tracks the first time, it came in a, a plastic bag in a green box from China. The second tracks I got came in a shipped, a shipping box, a UPS flat rate kind of thing. And the third one I didn't open. So, there he is. I want to start out by saying that this silver on these uh, rocket deals, oh, that's remolded a little. No, it's not. It's the same. It's the same. So, there's Wheeljack. Not exactly a Lancia Stratus, but he's got the pointy nose. And now with some editing, we have Wheeljack and Wheeljack. Both my new Wheeljack uh, generations and my um, incomplete G1. Uh... I, you know, they're not the same car, but I do think it captures the spirit quite nicely. And as a, a Lancia Stratus fan, I thought it was going to be really hard to please me, but this looks really good. Uh, right down to having really dark colored wheels that aren't just black, they're gunmetal, which is a nice touch. Uh, so, I'm going to get G1 Wheeljack ready for his comparison shot. I wish I had all the parts, but the parts for this guy are so expensive that it's hardly worth it. Uh, car mode's nice. The green looks good. Uh, I wish they'd remolded the tracks feet things here. You know, because they're just hill spurs on this guy, and I don't really know why he's got feet on the back of his legs. But whatever. Um, I had looked at this once already I took a break and looked over it to figure out what I was going to talk about uh, the snap here on the rear is much tighter much tighter than tracks um, so let's do this pop up in the back pull out the gun <laughs> this looks nice. It looks really nice. Pull off these guys, the little wrench, wrench rocket things. Pull the doors out at the top. All this stuff tabs in a little bit tighter than tracks, too. Pull the legs out as far as they'll go, which doesn't quite seem to be as far as on tracks. Do the feet. The wheel goes with the feet on these. It moves with the feet. And it is independent, but it does move out with the feet to kind of represent that, which I, seem, which I think it does a fairly good job of. Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. My camera's tilted down too much. So, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Pull down over here. That looks pretty good too. 
stand him up. Let's make sure the legs are pulled out as far as they'll go because it, it's not far. We'll uh, pull his head up, push the windscreen up. Oh, the arms are still locked in, that's why. Sorry guys, I'm still just really... The arms seem to lock in a little bit more on this version than on wheel, than on tracks too. Uh, head sculpt looks a lot nicer in person than it did um, in the photos. Get you a better up close to the face there. I'm not sure where I put my oh my light pen's way over there. I'd light his eyes up for you right here. But there's a better close up of the face. As you can see, his ears are translucent. There's the uh, rocket plugged into it with the little thing on the wheel, on the wing, the little thing on the door mount. Man, I'm tongue tied today. Wheel jack. And they did paint the inside of the doors, which is a really nice touch that I wish they'd done on tracks. Uh, which makes me think, I might want to do the same thing to mine on my, my display tracks there. Why am, I, why am I popping his arms off? Hmm. Arms do have a tendency to pop off. Not exactly uh, great, but doesn't really hurt anything either. Cool, you can push his, his, wheel, his wheels on his arms back so that they look a little bit more like the G1. That's looking good. Looking really good. I might just have might just be a little too cluttered for a good focus but looking good looking better than anticipated uh, knees are tight feet are all tight everything's nice and uh, stable he doesn't have as much forward pivot because of the way the legs are designed as tracks does so that makes posability slightly limited Wrenches are a really nice touch. I mean, how are you going to fix stuff without wrenches? Right? So, that works for me really well. And they're a really nice silverized plastic. And they may be painted. Yeah, they're painted. I can see a little, little spot where you can see black underneath. On the rocket, you can clip it back here. Or, you can go down in there under his wing where the rockets were clipped and you can clip it down there and bend it and fold it and that makes it sit further out on his shoulder just like on the G1 how it used to sit back out on his shoulder uh, overall I think this looks really 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 nice and like I say his legs don't pull out any further than tracks I really thought they did but they don't um, it's not looking as good on camera as it does in hand. And I think that's really been an issue with this mold as people have seen pictures of it and said, oh, I don't like it. And then when you get it in hand, it really does look a lot better in hand than it does in pictures. Uh, put tracks back. Uh, legs bend a little bit more. Knees bend a little bit more is what I mean. That's good. They have a little bit more, more bend. And this plastic here on this joint feels a little more sturdy. That's good too, because that was a weak point on the tracks mold. And tracks back is back there saying, "Hey, there's not any weak points on this, buddy. That's all in your head." But, yay! <laughs> this is really good, really, really good. I enjoy having this. And here we have the Autobot Science team. Ready to do sciencey stuff? Uh, yeah. And he does have some light piping, even though it's sort of weak. He does have some light piping. It does have a little bit of a blue tint to it. So, all in all, good, good. It's not the best light piping ever, but it is there. So, what are you looking at, huh? 
You talking to me? You talking to me? Seems that you've been replaced. No, but, but I've worked so hard. I even got your voice down and tried to imitate you. Come on. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me you're not going to take over. Sorry, bud. Science and duty calls. So, so move over and let Wheeljack in because I'm here to stay. <laughs> Shooting all that, I realized. That you can store the, le the the rockets in the leg. Isn't that nice? Little wrenches go into a little tab there that looks like a handle. See that? Right there. Isn't that nice? Cool.